4 sensor, which is a single-sided uh, transient plane source sensor for measuring solids, paste, and powders. Um, to set up a measurement with the single-sided TPS4 sensor, you only need a single um, piece of sample. So you're just going to want to place that on top of your TPS4 sensor with the provided one kilogram weight to achieve good contact between the sample and the sensor. If you have a larger sample, you can also place the sensor upside down on top of your sample with the one kilogram weight and perform your measurements that way. So to perform measurements with the MP2, you can either set up an automated schedule of measurements with uh, a set period of time between each measurement, or you can run single tests. So the automated schedule can be done through the, the measurement platform 2 itself or through the software. Today, we're just going to be running single measurements uh, just for the purpose of this demonstration. So to set up a measurement, uh, we're just going to take our sample of polypropylene and place it on top of our TPS4 sensor, making sure to center it and ensuring that our sensor is on a stable um, environment. And then we're going to place our one click gamma rate on top. So on the MP2, if we wanted to run a single measurement, we've already run some for this demonstration. Um, so the results as they perform just appear on the screen here. So we can see um, polypropylene has a thermal conductivity around 0 0.28 to 0 0.29. So if we want to run a single measurement, we would just press and hold this blue arrow. Um, we would set the instrument down first and then press and hold that blue arrow. Or we could scroll through and set up an automated schedule from the MP2 itself. So we've already run some measurements today, so we're not going to perform that. Um, in addition to the TPS4 sensor, which is designed for measuring um, paste, uh, powders, and solids, uh, the MP2 is also compatible with the THW sensor. This is for testing liquids in accordance to ASTM 7896, as well as the TLS series of sensors, um, which are designed to test um, soils, soft rocks, and polymers in accordance with uh, ASTM D5334. Um, with the TPS4, there is also a powder and paste cell available. So this just goes on top of your TPS4 sensor. It sits very snugly, and your powder goes inside, or your paste goes inside that hole there, and there's a, one a little weight on top just to ensure um, that the paste or the powder is in good contact with the sensor. So that's all there is to setting up a measurement with the MP2 itself. So we're just going to move over to the software and review some data that we measured uh, previously with the polypropylene. So uh, once you open the MP2 software, it's just going to prompt you to select your MP2 device. So we're just going to select the one that's connected to our computer right now. And once you select that, all your data that you've previously measured is automatically going to appear right here with the thermal conductivity results showing right here as well as the temperature that the measurement was run at. If you want to export these results to Excel, you just want to right click on a measurement. And here you can either choose to save the selection. So this would just save the single measurement or however many measurements that you selected. Or you can save all. So this would save all the, all the measurements that were done on the MP2 device. So we're just going to select Save All. And it's going to prompt you to select a location to save your test file. So we're just going to save that. And then it's going to open it in Excel. So this is just a breakdown of the exact same results that were displayed on the MP2 software. So we see the temperature that the uh, sample was run at, as well as the thermal conductivity, the current, and the test time that the measurement was run at. So that's pretty much everything to setting up a single measurement um, with the TPS4 device and the MP2. Thank you so much for your time and listening. If you have any questions, um, don't hesitate.